Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're simply going to be explaining what uh, our orientation warping does, stride warping, and distance matching. Since these are the, well, some of the features that we will be using and we are using in our locomotion series. So, let's get started. Orientation warping. The orientation warping feature is like a cool tool that tweaks the direction of certain parts in a moving animation. So imagine you've got a character doing some fancy moves and this tool lets you adjust the leg bones to match the direction of the character that the character is actually moving in. It's like making sure the legs follow the groove of the overall motion seamlessly. So stride warping. Stride warping is something like a magic wand for animations. Uh, the pose warping node does something pretty awesome. It automatically tweaks the animation stride of your character to keep up with how fast they are moving in the game. It's like making sure their steps are just right, syncing up with the speed of their overall movement. Distance matching. Distance matching is like having a virtual ruler for your animations. It involves using an animation curve which is basically a graph that shows the poses in your animation and their distance to or from a target. You can think of it as a guide that helps you adjust how your character moves based on a changing distance. So as your character gets closer or farther from a target, this curve comes into play. Tweaking the animation to make it look like, well, yeah, make it look just right according to the dynamic distance. It's like giving your animations a sense of adaptability. So um, that will be it for this one. Um, again, you can uh, request any additional features that you would like to see in this course. And I'll try my best to release uh, the tutorials as fast as possible. So yeah, guys. So again, thank you. And... See ya.